Hi, it's Stephen here for Bland Designs, and this is another acrylic pouring experiment. I'm going to do two canvases today, and I'm going to use the same colors on both. But on one canvas, I am going to do a flip cup method, and that's where uh, and a dirty pour. So basically, I'm going to put all the colors into one cup, and then pour them out and see what happens. And on the other one, I'm going to use the principle of negative space. And the principle of negative space is I'm going to not cover the entire canvas, but only part of it. I'm going to leave some of the white canvas exposed. Um, now my mixture today, I'm using Danny Clark's formula, and his formula is 25 milliliters of Floetrol to five milliliters of paint and two milliliters of alcohol. And I have uh, multiplied that by a factor of 10 because I'm putting it in these very large bottles and that's what I'm going to be pouring from. Um, so we'll see what happens and I uh, hope I get some cells with it and I will be torture, torching it as well. So I'm gonna move over to my other camera, to my paint area, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have my paints already pre-mixed up and so I'm going to do a flip cup dirty pour on this one and I'm going to do a negative space on this one and the colors I'm using are red green yellow white and black so I think I'll start with a bit of the white now these are already pre-mixed according to the formulas I've already mentioned it to you and a little bit of yellow the red And the green. Don't know these, how these colors are going to work. Now I'm just going to put in a drop of black. Not too much. And I'll put in white again. The yellow. The red. And some more green. And I don't know if I should put in, I'm just going to put a drop of black. That's all I'm going to put in. Okay, so I'm going to flip this and see what happens. This might be kind of tricky. I'm just going to try and get it centered here on my little platform. Oops, sliding it around. Just going to let it fall down and I'm grab my torch. And let's see what we get. It's kind of unusual. I think I'll torch it first. some cells so now I'm going to tip it Out of the shot, I know you're seeing the back of it. Sorry about that. But I want to make sure all my corners are covered. And I'm going to take my just touch up the sides. I did a pretty good job this time of uh, getting it onto the sides. Got out of our way. And sorry if my head's getting in the way here. I'm trying to see the other side. Oops, knocking things over. I think I may have to rethink my little stands. They're not as stable as I thought they would be.
Yeah, this one wants to get into my way here. Okay. I think I have all the canvas exposed. Let me wipe off my fingers here for a minute. That's kind of interesting. I'm not completely sure about the color combination in this one, but uh, trying to break out of the mold of using the same colors over and over. My go-to color is always shades of blues and into purples. And, uh, well, got to try other combinations here for a little bit more variety. Okay, let's get this canvas back up. Okay, I'm going to torch this one again. I think that's all I'm going to get out of that for cells, but actually, I'm going to leave that just as it is. I kind of like that. Now, I'm going to use the same colors here. But I'm going to do this with negative space. And I've never done this before, so I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it as a dirty pour. Well, maybe I should do it as a dirty pour. Maybe that's what I'll start with. Start with a dirty pour. So I'll put in a little white. I'm not going to uh, use as much paint. A little yellow. Some of the red. Green, a touch of black. Now the black didn't really come out on that one, so maybe I should use more black. A little more white, some yellow, red, green, and finish it off with a little bit of the white. I'm going to save the black for a little bit later, okay. Now on this one, I'm just going to pour it from the cup. This one kind of reminds me of candy. Let's give it a little bit of a torch. Okay, now I'm just going to let it move a little bit. I don't want to fill the whole canvas with this. Maybe see if I can get it to drip off near the bottom. Go a little off to the side. Now, I think we could use a little bit more yellow, but maybe I'll do these in strips. And this is where I might want to use the black. So now I'm just going to let these sort of merge a little bit together. Okay. Now I'm not liking the fact that I don't have any cells happening. Well, I'm getting a few. Okay, so maybe we need a little bit of white on here. Just 
tilt this a little bit more. I want to get it to run off the end at the top, I think. I'm not so sure with the negative space whether I'm liking this or not. Um, let me... Okay, not so sure about this. Now, I've got my sticks here, and I'm thinking, can we pull some color through, see what happens? Not a lot. Now, I don't think I like this as a negative space. I think I'm going to um, pour it right off the edges. I am getting some neat design, but I think I'm going to put a little bit more paint on. I'm going to put a little bit of white here and here. Nice more yellow. A little green. Some more of the red. this down around little bare canvas there in one spot. I'll pick up a little from this other one because they're the same colors. Here that it's a little bare. Hope I'm in shot. I can't see my uh, computer screen over on this table. Double check. So I apologize if uh, sometimes my head or other body parts are in the way. Don't really know if I'm that fond of this color combination I'm using on here. But If you don't try these things, you don't know, right? And I just find the whole process kind of fun. Mucking in paint. Okay, sorry about the head. My problem is, I've got two canvases on this space, and the space isn't very big. So I'm having trouble. Okay, I think I've got everything. Oh, 
Where'd that come from? Man, I better leave that alone. Okay. Well, didn't work out so well with negative space. And I'll give that a try again another day. Uh, let's hit it again with the torch. I don't think I'm going to get anything more, but... Now this one has changed in the little time that we spent on this one. It's uh, the darker colors have really kind of disappeared and we're getting predominantly the green and the red and the yellow in here. Don't really see really any traces of the black whatsoever. And this one may continue to change as well. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave them as they are. And uh, when they're dry, I'll show you what they look like then. Okay, so. Another day, I'll try a little bit more with the negative space idea and see what happens there. And I am getting more cells. Still not that happy with how the cells are forming. Again, I'm using Danny Clark's formula, but uh, the paints I'm using, it might have something to do with those because these are kind of cheap paints that I bought in bulk. Um, so that may be causing me the problems there too. But something different. This one starting to grow on me a little bit. This one I'm not so sure. But I'll just leave it and we'll see what they look like when they're dry. And so here are the two finished pieces. Uh, not yet varnished however, but um, there was some more movement. Uh, I have a few cells in this one. Um, I've got some here. Um, they were experiments. I'm not that fond of the color combination. Um, but they're not too bad. Once I get some varnish on them, they'll look a little better. I think what I may use these ones for, though, um, is I may use them for a mixed media piece. I may add other elements on top of each of these. But anyways, there's two. This one, remember, was a flip cup, uh, dirty pour. And this one was supposed to have negative space, but that didn't work out. But I will try that again um, another time and see if I can make it a little bit uh, better than that. So anyways... That was, uh, what that, my 10th experiment, and we carry on.